Hi everybody, it is April and I am back with another Silhouette version 4 tutorial. And this tutorial is going to show you two different ways to resize your images to exact sizes. So I've got a design team card that I am working on and I used this to show examples of being able to trace images and also add registration marks so they can be printed. So now I'm going to use those same images to show you how to resize. So the image with the Christmas tree and the fireplace is an image that I want to be an exact width and height. So first of all, I'm going to stretch it out a little so that I get my entire image. And the way I'm stretching it out is I'm just grabbing the squares on the different parts of the image and once my hand turns into a double-sided arrow that tells me that I can click and drag to make the image bigger. Normally if I'm going to play with an image size so for example this mouse I'll bring him closer to the middle. In order to keep the dimension, I would click on him so that I can see these boxes. And instead of grabbing the boxes on the sides or on the top, I grab the boxes in the corner. And when I drag, everything resizes so that there isn't any change in the aspect of the image. So if I grab something on the side, the image is going to become wider and the aspect changes. So now back to my original reason for doing this tutorial. So I have highlighted the image. There's a box around it. If you don't have your image highlighted, you'll notice that the menu bar options, there aren't as many of them. Once you click on an image, you'll see that magically, and I think it's really cool how this works, Silhouette Studio version 4 actually tries to help you out and gives you options that might normally be used on an image in your Silhouette Studio. So here, if you notice, and I always get these two areas confused because they both have numbers in them and that's all it takes to confuse me. This set of numbers right here has W for width and H for height and then there is a lock. So if the lock is unlocked that will allow you to change the width and the height to whatever you want. So I want my width to be 5.25 and I want my height to be 4. And so I changed those numbers and then I'm going to hit enter and that resizes my image. And then if I hit the lock, when I go to do anything with this image, the aspect ratio will be intact. Or if I decide I want to change the width, if I don't unlock, then my aspect ratio will automatically adjust the height to correspond to the way the image looks now with the new width. So if I change the width to a 6, then my image automatically changes size and it determines what it wants the height to be because I said I want the dimensions to remain the same. So. In order to change an image, both width and height, to the exact measurements that you want, you need to unclick the lock button and change your width. And this time I'm going to do it the opposite way. I'm going to make my image four inches high. And then I'm going to make my height 5.25. And that totally changes the dimension. This image is a little different as far as normally I don't think it would crop the edge like that but anyway so I think you get the idea and then in order to preserve that aspect ratio that you've just created 
you want to click the lock. There's also another option. There are usually at least two or three different ways that you can do this. But the other is choosing the transform menu, which is on the right hand menu bar. And then if you click on the double arrow, that also gives you the option to modify your your width and your height. And it's got the lock button so that you can click the lock and maintain the aspect ratio. So again, this right here is going to do the same thing that this option across the top menu bar will do. It's just a different way to get to it. So that is how you change your image to be an exact size. And I'll go ahead and click. So if I'm over here and I don't have any image highlighted, then this wouldn't know what to change. So if I changed it to be, sorry for the barking, 3.25, it's not modifying any images because there's not a box around any of the images and the software has no idea which image you want to change. So if I go ahead and I click this image, then it knows I want to change this image and I'm going to put it back to 5.25 and notice my, my lock is unlocked, so I'm, I can change both numbers. It's not going to automatically determine either one for me. And then I'll change that to 4. That changes the image to what it was before. And I click the lock, and now I can modify with no problem. Thank you for stopping by. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want more tutorials like this, click subscribe. Have a great day.